This module explores the few commands for working with cron jobs using PowerShell. Most PowerShell modules are published to the PowerShell gallery and can be easily installed using the command install module. But the cron tab module is only available in the PowerShell Git repository, which also gives us a good example on how to manually install a module. First, I'm going to download all the source code for PowerShell by cloning the Git repository from GitHub. For PowerShell to know where to look for modules, there is an environment variable called psmodulePath that contains a colon separated list of paths. To write them to the terminal in a readable manner, I can split it on colon like this. To install the module, I simply copy the module folder to one of the folders referenced in my psmodulePath variable using the command copy item. Let's see if it works by running import module to load the module. That seemed to work. To be sure it loaded correctly, I can also run get module to list all modules currently loaded. Here I can see that the cron tab module is loaded and that it exports a few commands. Now I can create a new cron job by using the command new cron job. I give it the command to run pwsh with dash c for a command and a command that pipes the string hello from cron tab to the file cron.log. I also use the dash append parameter to append the line to the file instead of overwriting it. Then I use the minute parameter on new cron job and give it the value of star slash one to make it run every one minute. Just to show that this created a regular cron tab job, I can run cron tab to list all my jobs. Let's create a second job that runs every 10 minutes and appends the line hello again from cron tab to the same file. Now, more than a minute has passed since I created my first job. So let's look at the cron.log file. That seems to be working. To list my cron jobs, I can run get cron job. This shows that I have two jobs. Let's say that I want to remove only the first one. To do so, I can pipe both jobs to the command select object and use the parameter first to only keep the first object in a pipeline. Piping the output from select object to remove cron job will remove only my first job, like this. If I run get cron job again, we can see that it worked. Now I remove all my jobs by piping get cron job to remove cron job. I also use the force parameter to not be prompted if I'm sure I want to remove each job. That's it for this lesson. See you in the next one.